I don't remember quite when we I went over and got Juggernaug. But like I said, I'm, see I'm up here, I got the FAL, which I prefer over the other gun that I had. Um, they're both semi-automatic, but like I said, I prefer the fall because it has... It, it seems to me like it has a quicker rate of fire, like it fires as fast as you pull the trigger, and the other one has like a little bit of a delay on it or something. Um, so like I used... I used... Um, the first one that I got primarily because I wanted to save the the FAL for when like it got really intense when there was like a bunch of zombies when I really had to like fire you know as fast as I can to get out of a sticky situation or something. Um, so I used the the, the first gun uh, like a lot more. Um, I also switch between the two instead of reloading if I'm in a sticky situation. Um, it's just it's quicker that way, you know. You don't have to you don't have to run. You just switch guns and start firing back into them. Uh, I reload as as much as I can, basically uh, in between zombies. So I'm always like I have full ammo in case a bunch of them show up. I know the other guys pretty much do the same thing, uh, as far as I can tell. We, we usually don't have any problem with, like, lack of ammo or things like that. Um, well, lack of ammo in, in, in the gun, actually. Like, we don't have to reload during combat that often. I, I really liked the way Transit turned out in this game. Uh, when I first saw it, I, I didn't really know what to ex expect. Like when I when I saw the trailers and stuff, um, you know, like they showed the guys with the bus and, and jumping on top of it and you know driving off and stuff like that. Um, and when I first saw that, I was like, oh, that's gonna be cool. But really, where's the bus gonna go? Like I didn't really know what to expect with that, and I don't know how I survived that. I, I thought I was gonna die, but I, I magically got out of it, and then I just got out of there because everything was crazy, and I was a little bit panicked. But I didn't really know what to expect. They did a really good job with it, I think, though. I loved the, the aspect where you could also walk between the places, but you risk the, uh, goblin baby things attacking you um, if you go into the mist too far which really became a problem later on in, in when we played I ended up getting down by it and I think John ended up getting down by it a couple times but it, it really makes an interesting zombies game like it because it's more open world it's not so much you know, like, this is your building that you're in here, and you can have these doors to open. Like, I, I really like the idea where you can basically go to multiple different areas, and you can do it at multiple different times. Like, you split up into groups of two, split up into three and one, you know, stuff like that, or just all stick together or all go your separate ways. It's, uh, it really, I, I like it. I like the option of choosing that, um... And I didn't, I didn't expect it, and so it was really nice the the first time uh, we played to be able to do that, and it, it was fun. Just, I'm sitting up in the uh, the Juggernaut area right now, the burning building. Uh, with the FAL. I saw John got down so I had to go save him and I thought I was gonna die right there and I didn't and I don't know how either. The other guys are, are I think they're heading over there too though. Um, I ran off because I was injured and I didn't want to die. Uh, yeah, there goes Joe to help. And Zach's over there as well, so I just decided to go through the bank and make my way over there that way. And eventually, the four of us all got inside the bank. And 
it was basically like our last stand area, and I remember saying that during the the uh, recording as I thought it was going to be our last stand, but I didn't want to die in there, so I got out, and I went around the side and started shooting the zombies going in there. Um, I ended up getting flanked and ran back inside real quick. The, the bank was a really interesting place, because in, in both times that we played, like the several games, we always got stuck in that bank together with like hordes of zombies coming in. Like, we did get out, we, we did make it, we never ended up dying in the bank, but there were always times where we were stuck in there and we thought we were gonna die, and we didn't. We were like, oh, well, this is gonna be game over, and then somehow somebody got out, and we all managed to survive, and it was just ridiculous. I'm back up on that perch, of course, I always just basically go up there. The middle is almost like, if you go down in the middle, you're gonna die for sure. Like, you, you basically have to run between the buildings, like, as fast as you can, because zombies will swarm you if you're in the middle. And especially with, like, the uh, streams of lava and the lava pool in the middle, like, that on top of the zombies is a huge pain. And I remember John and I always complained about it, and I think Zach did too a couple times. I had Juggernaug at this point. Um... I don't remember. I believe I pick up Quick Revive here soon. Uh, just because I thought it was going to be necessary. But John and I are up in that building now, and we kept getting in each other's way. Um, we actually were a pretty good team, though. Uh, I watched that window, and he watched the door and, and the, the ceiling, and I switched between the ceiling, too. And... We, we made a really good team up there, so if you can get like two people up there, you're, you're pretty much really good to go. I believe, uh, yeah, Zach was like right at the bottom of the stairs there, and Joe was over in the bank, so... I mean, since Zach was there, like right there with us too, it kind of helped John watch the uh, stairs. I jumped down. Uh, I'm going back up into the bar, it looks like. A lot of the gameplay for me revolved around like the higher areas where you can basically just sit up there and watch over everything. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, Zach got a, a phone call and so he paused it, um, which we found ridiculous. But uh, after a little bit of making fun of him because of the drama that he had, he ended up just like... We, we paused the recording here in a minute. I'm going to have that pause. And uh, basically we just we just waited it out, let him talk to whoever on the phone. And uh, then we got back into the game. Yeah, right there was where it paused. Uh, you can't even tell. I'm so good at editing. Can't even tell. But right back into the gameplay. There you go. It's really not that easy to edit out something like that, especially if you, like, you stop the recording and then restart the recording, like, come on. It, ba it practically does it for you. Just line it up. Uh, yeah, we all got back up, uh, doing, you know, whatever we do. I, I was up in the, the bar, obviously, and I'll, uh, that's, pro like I said, that's probably going to be where I'm going to be at most of the video. And, uh, we never got to, uh, up upgrade a gun. I don't think any one of us upgraded a gun, but we did make it pretty far. I jumped down to the side just to like look around because at this point it was slowing down in the round the zombies were kind of coming slower and slower so we uh we didn't really we were just kind of getting our errands done so to speak you know getting the perks getting new guns stuff like that getting ready for the next round i was mopping up the zombies with my fl because i really did not like the other gun at all. I don't know why, I just I couldn't stand it. Normally I do tend to like the semi-automatic 
uh, weapons. I don't like three numbers, but semi-automatic uh, I'm okay with, and I tend to prefer it um, for like better accuracy, you know, so you don't like waste as many bullets killing a zombie, you know, you can get the perfect amount into it as long as you don't miss. Um, basically, you can gauge how many shots it takes. And, uh, like I said, the accuracy. So, I tried to stick with the FAL. I get it in almost, like, all of the zombie games that we play. I typically get the FAL. Um, for some reason, I, I don't know why, but I, I just, that's the gun I, I tend to get from the box. So, I'm, I'm decent with it already. And I used it online in, in Black Ops uh, quite a bit. Uh, which a bunch of people were like, oh, the FAL is so bad online and, and stuff like that. I'm actually pretty good with it. And I don't know why. I just, I can, I can handle it. It's, it's my kind of gun. But, uh, there's, there's other guns that I like as well. Um, I believe right at the end of this, I get the MTAR. Uh, I believe that's what it's called, which the ending is actually coming up here because my Xbox decided to poop out. Um, it's gonna be really sudden, so I might as well just go ahead and say, there you go, that's the video. Uh, subscribe, and let me know if you want more.